Peter Fergani has more of what you'll see only here on ABC 15. And tonight she's in the spot where police found Isabella Canella's body and talked to the person who was supposed to be Rector's alibi. Justin Rector told police that he went to a friend's house, but I spoke exclusively with that friend and he tells me he never saw him. Just days after eight-year-old Isabella Grogan Canella went missing, Nicholas Noriega finds himself in a very difficult situation. He's a longtime friend of the murder suspect, Justin Rector. Many, many years ago, I, he got me my first job working construction uh, when we were like 16. Nicholas also became Rector's alibi when that little girl went missing. Rector told police when he left the girl's house on Lakeside Drive, he came straight to this home to visit Nicholas. Either we were asleep or we weren't here. I, I don't know if he actually showed up or if he was just saying that. We shouldn't have been involved in this. You know, we had cops here all day yesterday. But Nicholas never saw him until police brought Rector by his house. Yeah, you know, I pulled him over to the side and had him look me in the eye and I asked him if he had anything to do with this and he said no and he was real convinced me. Police say they found Rector's shoe prints near a shallow grave where search teams found the little girl's body. Rector telling Nicholas he was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Do you still believe him? I don't know what to believe right now. Rector's friend tells me that the suspect is a father and he couldn't imagine him hurting any child. In Bullhead City, Navita Fergani, ABC 15 News.